Hey everybody, today we will be discussing the server super global variable. It contains headers, paths, and script locations. It's an associative array that's created by the web server. It contains nearly everything you need to know about the current web page environment. To access the super global variable, you type dollar sign underscore server. Then you can access one of the key value pairs. So for this demonstration, I'm going to create a for each loop. We're going to iterate over all of the pairs, all of the key value pairs. Let's take our server as key arrow value. Then I will echo each key value pair. Key equals value, then add a line break. Let's take a look. All right, we have a lot going on here. Here are the key value pairs found within my server super global variable. We're still beginners. A lot of this is more for advanced PHP developers. I more or less just want to raise awareness that this exists. Two keys that we're going to be interested in are PHP self and request method. PHP self is the location of this page. The request method is either get or post. The default is get. If we have an HTML form that has the method set to post, after clicking the submit button, the request method would equal post. Let me demonstrate how we can use PHP self. I am going to create an HTML form. Let me get rid of this for each loop. The name of my PHP file is index.php. The action attribute of my form is set to index.php. Any information that's posted will be sent to my PHP script. However, if I were to change the name of this file, let's rename our file as home. Well, our action attribute isn't going to be updated. I'm going to navigate to our home page, localhost.website slash home. If I were to type in my name, then press submit, we're sending our form data to a file that doesn't exist. It would be kind of nice if we could update this automatically. That's where our server super global variable can come in. In place of a file name, let's write a PHP script within the set of quotes. We are going to access the server super global variable at the key of php underscore self. This key contains the value of the current file path for this file. Save and reload everything. You may need to navigate to our homepage because right now it's set to index. Okay, type in a username, press submit, and that should work. Then if we update the name of this file, let's rename it to um, start, I guess. That's all I could think of at the moment. Okay, let's navigate to start start.php, type in a username, press submit, and that works just fine. That's how we can use PHP self to get the current file name. However, with PHP self, it is vulnerable to something called a cross-site script. We learned about cross-site scripts on the topic of sanitation and validation. If you do use PHP self, I do recommend enclosing this variable within a filter. One that I recommend is HTML special chars. So be sure to enclose that. That'll avoid any cross-site scripts. Just be aware that this is something you might see in the future in your own studies. At least you know what it is now. The other key that we're going to talk about is request method. Request method is either get or post. So if I were to reload everything but not submit anything, the request method by default is get. So another way to detect if a form is submitted is to access the request method. Normally, we're used to saying if is set, then access post, then we access our submit button. One problem with this is that, at least in older web browsers, you can submit a form without hitting the submit button. There's ways around that. A more reliable solution is to take a look at that request method. Within an if statement, let's access our server super global variable. We will take a look at our request method. 
and see if this is equal to post. If it is, then let's echo, I don't know, hello. Type in a username, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Hit submit, and we will display hello. In the future, I would prefer if we stuck with this way of handling post requests, just because it's more reliable. All right, everybody, so that's a basic introduction to the server super global variable. There's still way more advanced stuff involving it, but I thought I would at least give you an introduction just so that it doesn't freak you out in the future. We'll have a little bit more practice with this when we create our own login form. And well, everybody, that is the server super global variable in PHP.